What's up guys, main man Sui here with another video, okay, jokes aside, welcome to this new Tekken 8 video, this time we'll talk about general thoughts and feelings about Tekken 8 Link Xiaoyu. Um, a lot of people have asked me, is this Xiaoyu um, worse, is she nerfed, is she better than in Tekken 7, what's happening, what's going on, I mean it's still... CNT, not even beta version, but is she worse than in Tekken 7? My answer would be 100% no. I would say this is one of the best Xiaoyu version, versions we've, we've ever had in a Tekken game. It's gonna be hard to, to go back to Tekken 7, to be honest, because she feels so much better in, in Tekken 8 as of now. So, I would say no, um, she's weaker in, in Tekken 7. I prefer this, this version over the Tekken 7 version. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. Sorry for the audio issues, I have to change something real quick. So, um, first off, she feels much more fluid, in my opinion. You can move around smoothly she actually feels like a dancing phoenix so now now we can dance around even more and more easily but yeah the main reasons why i'm saying she's stronger and better in this game are um first of all we finally got a consistent 13 frame punish so her punishment um, got buffed, 13 frame, back 4-4 four, four is gone, and now we have back 4-1, which is a heat engage as well, that's gonna be super consistent as a punish, like for hop kick punishes I hope, for example, and we will enter heat as well, heat engager, which is super nice to, to add some pressure to it um, also we got some new interesting additions to the move list in general like as you know AOP 1-2 has this new animation now on second hit but now we have more options out of AOP 1 we can AOP 1-4 now which appears to be natural combo as well and that's mid mid now, so GG's whoever decides to duck there. Mid mid. And it's gonna um, wall splat. She will recover in rain dance. I would have preferred to, to be neutral, but it is what it is. It's okay. But let me let me reach the wall. So that's a very nice addition. Also, AOP 1, just AOP 1 now, can go into Hypnotist. And that's the next reason why I would say this Xiaoyu is much stronger than in Tekken 7. Hypnotist got crazily buffed. We will finally use all three stances in Tekken 8. We have new Hypnotist transitions, and most of them are very useful with. Um, one down two back forward to one back also guys forward to one mid high appears to jail now so people will not be able to to duck on block if it's true I think it's true so yeah forward to one into hypnotist heat engager by the way super strong we have rain and two one hypnotist transition Super strong and as I said AOP 1 back Hypnotist transition which means we can use it in combos and that's super exciting Unless I'm not able to do it, wait is it? Oh, 
all you go and so on the feeding gauge and stuff so she feels she feels more polished in general with hypnotist being much stronger having this new low also um rain dance one plus two one plus two giving us a free low now which is uh, nice damage overall i think that's 32 And now we have Hypnot uh, Hypnotist, Rain Dance 1 plus 2, 4 as well, as a Heat Engager, and as a crazy combo tool out of Heat. It is um, delayable as well, which is amazing. 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 as well. So, yeah, super strong. Also, and I really like this, this change, we have some amazing new cancels. We had AOP 1, 1 back, to cancel follow-ups. But even, even better than that, we are finally able to to cancel uh, some throws, the hop and throws, which are now it's a forward one plus three, and forward um, two plus four. Now we have a third hop and throw, and that's Wang's waning moon. It's a forward rain dance forward uh, two plus three. And it's a free combo after the throw, which is super strong. And it's a 1 plus 2 break, so now they will have to guess. This is a 1 break, hop and throw forward, 1 plus 3. This is a 2 break. And the new throw is gonna be a 1 plus 2 break, so super nice. I know some people are able to, to duck on reaction, react, on, react to the hop and throw. And that's where the cancel is going to be super useful because now we can cancel the hop and throws. We just have to hold down, just hold down, and she will recover in crouch, which looks super smooth. So ready for for mix-ups. So that that's a that's a big plus as well. That's super strong as well in my opinion I would say in Tekken 8 Xiaoyu is even more of a specialist character than in Tekken 7 which I think that's a, that's a good thing she was hard to play in tournaments already but, but now um, I feel like she has more options to, to open up opponents wall pressure don't forget guys we had the, a forward to one wall ender it's still in the game but now we can actually go for Instead of forward to one shoulder, still possible, but now we can even go for forward to one hypnotist. And we can start with stepping. So like this, holding back, one, two, three, launch. And if they're gonna think, ah, okay, he's gonna go for the new low and launch me, I can go for the mid. which gives plus frames again. I can also go for um, down forward to one, of course, just like in Tekken 7. Gonna duck? Okay, I'm gonna launch. So that's gonna be strong at the wall. Also guys, I don't know why, but down forward to one, maybe because it's sometimes inconsistent, the input, it's a back one plus two now as well. So we have Two inputs for one move, which is a little bit strange, but I guess we need it. So back one plus two, down forward two one, same move. So um, better cancels, hypnotist buff, better punishment with back four one, 
new interesting moves like AOP 1-4, which gives us wall slap and combo. Rain Dance 1 plus 2 4. Um, Rain Dance 1 4 is gone, but we have now the even better Rain Dance 1 2 mid mid. So people will duck, it will hit, and of course it's a, it's a counter hit launch. So that's strong as well. Forward 4 4 was weak anyway, so I'm happy that it's gone. Forward, um, I mean back, back 4 4. Back 4 1 is much stronger. And also, of course, her design, right? I like the Tekken 7 outfit, but this one, guys, this outfit, I think it, it might be the best ever. Xiaoyu has never looked better, right? I think it's, it's the prettiest one so far. So yeah, is Xiaoyu weaker now in Tekken 8? I would say no, definitely not. She's very strong compared to Tekken 7, Tekken 6 iterations of Xiaoyu. I mean, compared to other characters in Tekken 8, yeah, she's not doing as much damage as other characters, but she she never did, right? It's not like this character is made for hard-hitting combos and stuff. She was more, more of a specialist, mix-up heavy, stance heavy, character so I think we are still fine we are still we can still do crazy damage like for example look at this damage come on I'm not able to do it that's 70 70 damage Which is a lot. Also, this is back. Look at the damage again. 95. So we will find our ways uh, to deal more damage. Also, with some Oki traps and setups, we will be fine. We will be fine for sure. Like this trap. Or maybe the, the stage is too small. And reset. So I'm not really worried about combo damage. Because it's it's nothing new. She always had some a little bit lower combo damage, but it's it's fine. Yep, so these are my thoughts about Tekken 8 Chaoyu. I really like her. I don't want to go back to Tekken 7. Evo is gonna be fun, but I hope this game will come out soon. I hope, hoping next year. Harada said that this is not the official beta test. So beta will come as well. Alpha is over. I don't know what it means for, for the release date. I'm hoping for next year, maybe summer. But yeah, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Is Mayman saying something at the end of his videos? I need to watch Mayman videos. Alright guys, take care and bye bye.